common knee problems. Patellar bursitis, pain and inflammation located over the front of the kneecap. The bursa becomes inflamed and fills with fluid at the top of the knee, so you find swelling and pain and tenderness and a lump at the top of the kneecap. Patellar chondromalacia, it's a chronic knee pain due to softening of the cartilage beneath the kneecap. The cartilage will have erosions from mild to complete in the back of the kneecap. Pain in the front of the knee, it occurs more in young patients, becomes worse from climbing up and down stairs. Treatment, usually therapy, you may give non -esteroidal. surgery is rare. Patellar tendinitis, inflammation and pain located inferior to the kneecap area. This is a normal knee without ligament injury. You can see the medial and lateral collateral ligament and the ACL in the middle of the knee. This is an example of a knee injury. You can see the lateral collateral ligament injured. It usually occurs as a result of sports activities. This is the medial collateral ligament rupture. It is an injury to the ligament on the inner part of the knee. It is the most commonly injured knee ligament. ACL ligament tear. It involves valgus stress to the knee. Usually the patient will have swelling and hematoma. Lachman test is positive and the MRI is diagnostic. Meniscal tear. This is a medial meniscus and this is a lateral meniscus. The inner part of the meniscus is lacking blood supply and this area cannot heal by itself. The outer area of the meniscus is rich in blood supply. If there is any peripheral tear in this area and the tear is sutured, it can heal. The meniscus is the cushion that protects the cartilage of the knee. Injury will cause pain on the medial or the lateral side of the knee. The most specific sign is pain at the joint line itself. The outer 30% of the meniscus is rich in blood supply. The tear presents itself with a history of locking, swelling, and instability of the knee. McMurray test is usually positive. MRI is very helpful. Baker cyst is swelling in the back of the knee filled with synovial fluid. The Baker cyst is usually between the semimembranosus and the medial gastric. Here is an example of the axial cut in the MRI showing the Baker cyst in the back of the knee. Here is a video showing aspiration of the Baker cyst in the back of the knee. Gout is an inflammatory arthritis caused by excessive level of uric acid. It can affect any joint in the body, especially the big toe. Crystals look like needles and have a negative bifringence. Arthritis of the knee is characterized by progressive wearing away of the cartilage of the joint. The knee is the most common part of the body that's mostly affected by arthritis. And you find that the joint space gets narrowed. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.